is a tool. Who do you think? Now, I don't know everybody's names, so please excuse me when I have to point. What is a tool? Like scissors. What other kinds of tools are there? What do you think? A hammer, scissors, what else? Saws. Saws. What else? Um, screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. What else? One more. This is the last one. Like a wrench or something that you turn things in? What part of my body am I using for all those tools? My hands, yeah. So we are going to talk about the one that you have in your classroom because we don't have saws and screwdrivers and hammers and all those kinds of tools. Yeah, but we yeah. do have a tool called scissors. Now, first thing I want to ask you is, look, at I have Whoa. got two pairs of scissors here. Who can tell me what is different about the scissors? How about you? Um... One's big and one's small. One's big and one's small. And one. Is there and, something else that's different? And, and one is sharper and one is not. Okay, this one's very, very pointy. And this one is more rounded at the end. So that's another difference. What else is different? And how about the bottom? Uh-huh. The color of the bottom. We've got sort of a pinky red and a green color. One more thing that's different? The, the, on the big one, there's tiny sticks at the bottom. On the small one, there's not tiny sticks. Yeah, it must be just the way these scissors are made. Mm -hmm. Now, why? This is a tough question. Why do they make big scissors and little scissors? What do you think? Because they cut. Well, they both cut. That's something that's the same. They both cut paper. But why does the factory that makes scissors make some big and some little? What do you think? Can you come up here? Oh, no, you stay right there. Can you just put your hand up? Touch mine. Which scissors do you think I should use? The big one. What should your friend use? The little one. Yeah, so they're kind of like shoes, aren't they? When you have big feet, you need big shoes. When you have little feet, you need littler shoes. So for your hands, they make these scissors because they fit your hand better. Now, I need your help because I've got some things I want to cut. And I get stuck a lot and forget how to use this tool to cut with. So I have a piece of paper because I know we need paper and I know we need scissors. So what do I have to do to cut? Who can tell me something I need to do? I haven't heard from you yet. What do I need to do? Cut. Well, how? I don't know how. Open the scissors and I put it on the paper. Not like that. Okay, well tell me how do I put them on? The side. Oh, that hurts my shoulder. Oh my goodness. That's kind of uncomfortable. Is there a different way I could do this? Yeah, but what do you think? You have to hold on you take the scissors and go together and you do that. I see that there's a little hole and a big hole. So what do I do with those? Hold on, I'm really been impressed with how you guys have been putting your hands up. So I will look at you and let you know, and I'm going to try to ask everybody to answer a question when I see their hand up. So I will ask you. So why do we have this big hole and little hole? To, to put your fingers in. Okay. Put one more no, in. Put, put your thumb in the small one. And then the oh, that's so there's a small one. So that's what I put my thumb in. Okay. And, and put, your, put your thumb in the small one and put your other fingers in the big one. All of them, do you think? Oh, ooh, that's kind of a tight squeeze. No, three or two. Okay, I'm going to try two. Okay. I'm going to put two in. Okay, now what? Now you put it on, on the side and cut. Open it. Open. How do I open it? I spread my fingers. Okay. And I'll cut the paper. Do do what? Paper. Oh, I, want, I don't want you to show me. I want you to use your words. We're using our words. What do you think? What do I do now? Um, you lift the paper up 
I'm lifting it up. With your hand. Wait a minute. I'm very confused now. I thought with scissors you only had to use one hand. But you're telling me I need to use my other hand? Oh, so one hand is going to do the work. I think I'm going to call that my worker hand. <laughs> this is going to help. So what am I going to call it? Paper hand. Or my helper hand. I didn't know that, so I need two hands to cut. Okay, so I got my paper and I'm holding it up with my helping hand. I've got my thumb in the little hole. I've got two fingers in the big hole. Now what do you think? I I'm just noticing. I could put my thumb down like this, or I could put my thumb up. What do you think but might work better? Up. You yeah. think thumb up, who else? Thumb up. Thumb up, so everybody, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, so I'm gonna put my, oh, remind me, I've forgotten already. Where do I put my thumb, the little hole or the big hole? The little hole. The little hole. What do I put in the big hole? Two fingers. One, two. Okay. Or three. Sometimes you need three in there. That way it won't fall down. If you need more muscle power. And then do I put my thumb down or my thumb up? Up. Up. Okay. Then I'm going to pick this up with my helping hand. I think I'm going to put my thumb up too to hold that. So I can see it and I won't cut it. Okay. So then somebody said I had to open them by stretching my muscles. Now what do I do? Cut, 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 cut the paper. Yeah. So how do I cut the paper? What do you think? You put it on the paper. On the paper? No. Put it at the side of the paper. So I have to put the paper on the line. Inside the scissors. And okay. Cut. And then I squeeze them? Yeah. Wow, it worked. <laughs> okay. I I have a challenge. Okay, because I was trying Challenge. to yeah, take a look. I have a road here. We got a green light and we got a red light. And I want to use my scissors to cut on the road. I don't want there to be any accidents. So I want to stay on the road and go from the green light to the red light. So I'm gonna see if I can do everything you told me to do. Thumb, two fingers, thumb up. Helping hand is gonna hold. Okay, I'm going to open them. I'm going to put them in. And now, can you stay down? Can you just stay down? I'm going to make sure. So I've got it here. I'll stand up so you can see. Okay? Now, how am I doing? Am I staying on the road? Uh-oh. You must have forgot to tell me something. Ooh, I went way off. What did I forget to do? Go to line. I tried. I'll show you again. I'm going to put my scissors on. And I'm going to cut on the line. But you have to look. I have to what? You have to look at it. This is getting more and more complicated. So now you're telling me I have to use one hand for the scissors. I have to use a helping hand to hold the paper. And I have to use my eyes. So using the tool is a little... I have to use my eyes to see. So I have to use my two hands together and I have to use my eyes and my hands together. Boy, this is a lot trickier than I thought. I'm going to try that. I just happen to have another road here. There's my green light. There's my red light. Am I holding my scissors properly? No. What should I do? Uh, thumb up. Thumb up. Thumb up. Okay. Am I holding my paper properly? No. What should I do? Do it sideways. And? Thumb up. Thumb up. Okay. So I'm going to open them. I'm going to go to the green light. And now that I know, I have to keep my eyes and hands working together. Are my eyes going to be looking at all of you? No. Are my eyes going to be looking at my friend? No. You have to look at the line. I have to look at the line. Okay. Close them, open them, and I'm going to push them along a little bit. Close them, open them, and push them along. You are going to do it. Open them. And then stop. red light is stop. Hey, thank you. You guys came up with a you fantastic pants. plan. You made pants. It does look like a pair of pants, doesn't it? <laughs> for a very little baby, not for Mrs. Whalen.
<laughs> but for a very little baby. Okay, you guys have been such a help in helping me learn to use this classroom tool. Yeah. I have another request. I think I'm ready to cut out a circle. Oh no. You have to look at it. Okay, so let's make sure I got my plan right. Yeah. I put my thumb in the big hole. No. no. Wait a minute. Where does my thumb go? My two fingers go, and, the and my thumb is down. No. Okay. I must. Takes me a little while. Okay. And then I remember now. Thumb up on the paper. Eyes and hands together. And I'll cut you. And my helping hand is holding the paper. Oh, is it supposed to hurt my shoulder this much? No. No. Oh, yes. It's I just had to hold the paper. You have to turn it around. It's got another job. It has to help by turning. Okay. Oh, that feels so much better. I don't have to lift my arm weight up. I can keep it down. And oh, I can use my helping hand to keep turning it. And where are my eyes? On the paper. Oh, and look at when I keep my eyes on the paper and I use my helping hand to turn. I'm able to stay right on that circle. Wow. Oh, thank you. Wow. Well, thank you guys for giving me such a good plan to use. That was a head. It looks like a head. So we got a head and a pair of pants. We need a body, though, don't we? Yeah. And some arms and a neck. Yeah, there's all sorts of pieces. I'm going to show you what you guys are going to make. You are going to be doing something that we call abstract art. What is that? What does abstract mean? Abstract. Can anybody know what that word means? No, it's not a bathroom word and that's not appropriate. Abstract means it's art that doesn't have to look like anything. It doesn't have to look like a tree. It doesn't have to look like a flower. It doesn't have to look like a car. It doesn't have to look like a person. It's just art that's full of colors and shapes. And everybody's abstract art is going to look different. Like a rectangle. So what Miss Andrus has put out for you are lots at your tables. There are glue sticks and scissors and a big black piece of paper. Whoa. And if you're an artist, you would call this black, black piece of paper your canvas. That's the special name for the paper you do your artwork on. It's your canvas. And you're going to see all sorts of shapes and squiggly lines and things on the table. So what your job to create your abstract art is going to be to use your scissors and follow that great plan you told me. You're going to put your thumb in the little hole, two or three fingers in here, and thumb's going to be down. Oh, that's what I keep forgetting. Thumb is going to be up. And just to get warmed up, I might pick something that has straight lines on it because they're kind of easy. And I'm going to use my helping hand to hold it with my thumb up. And I'm going to use my eyes and hands like you told me to. And I'm going to try to cut right on that line. There. Good job. Thank you. And then I'm going to try to cut on this. Oh, and look at I've got something here. It's a neat shape. I think I'm going to glue that on right Whoa. there. I'm going to glue that on right there. Hey, and then I think I'm ready. I'm ready for a challenge. I'm going to pick this one because it's got squiggly lines. So, I got my fingers in. I'm using my helping hand. Oh, and look at, what's my helping hand having to do with my squiggles? Turn it. It's turning the paper so I can stay on the line. And I think, ooh, I like that shape. I'm going to glue it over here. They can touch. They can touch when you glue them, one on top. Then I think I'm ready for an even bigger challenge. I'm going to cut out a... I see, yeah, I see two little sides and two long sides. So that makes it a rectangle. So I'm going to follow my plan. How am I doing? Good. Now, what am I going to do when I come to the corner? Cut. Turn. Turn. 
turn the paper with my helping hand. And then I'm going to cut. When I get to the next corner, turn the paper. When I get to this corner, turn the paper. I have some friends that are moving around on the carpet. Can you please keep in one spot? Thank you. And I'm going to glue this one over here because I think like it looks nice. And then, oh, I'm ready for a real challenge. Oh. Oh. It looks like a whirlpool or a spiral. Like this. A lollipop. So, like this. yeah, a lollipop, yeah. So, a helping hand. That's a lollipop. Now, I want you to tell me, something's going to be working really, really hard when I do the spiral. What's going to work hard when I do the spiral? Which hand is working very hard? My helping hand. Because it, i got to keep turning and turning and turning. And where are my eyes? On the paper. Uh-huh. Oh. By following everything you told me to do, keeping my eyes on the job, using my two hands together, using my helping hand to turn, I think I did a pretty good job. Now, when I, glue, when I glue this one, I think I'm just going to put glue on the middle because I'm going to put it down and then it'll kind of pop out. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. This is like a glue popper. So remember, abstract art doesn't look like anything that's real. Doesn't look like a tree or a flower or a house or your friend or your dog or a swimming pool or an apartment building. It's lots of colors and shapes that you glue on wherever you want. So everybody's is going to look different. Hi. Now I'm going to ask Miss Andrus if she can let you know what tables you need to go at to do your abstract art. Does anybody have any other questions about how to use this classroom tool? You guys taught me so much. And I'm going to be checking to make sure everybody remembers those. We know. Remembers that plan. We already know. Okay? All right. So, Miss Andrews, you can call people and let them know what table they're at. I already found 